hello friends this is ifa welcome and welcome back to my channel today we are going to set up my bullet journal for october 2024 this is one of my favorite months of the year and i cannot believe that we're heading to third last month of this year so for this month i have gone for a very common theme which is baking in autumn so for this month's bullet journal setup i thought that i'll go with larger illustrations so i will start with a very large illustration in the cover page so let's begin with my cover page for this illustration i'm going to use my sakura pigma micron in size 005 to outline all of these elements first and as I'm using this 005 fine liner, I really feel that I have a very smooth line and I can go with a very smaller details with it. So here, as you can see, I have already drawn out a packet of flowers. And also besides it, I have drawn this pot with utensils or baking essentials like ladder, hand beater, etc. I really wanted to give this illustrations look more cottage core vibes because I don't want it to make modern home baking sessions here and I just wanted to go with the cottage core theme again and it's very different you know I think that this painting is not too much difficult or this drawing is not too much difficult to do but definitely you need a basic sense of perspective to organize all of these elements and here i have drawn out the packet of flour and the ladle pot Th this is just a vase or teapot kind of thing <laughs> in front of that i have placed a cutting board and in the top i wanted to add a bowl of flour dough and also i added a few eggs into it and that's it for this line art for the art medium, I'm going to use watercolors. Here I'm using two brushes, even though I'm showing you three brushes here. But basically, I'm going to use this medium thick brush for larger areas. And for thinner areas, I am going to use this thin brush, which came with this watercolor set. In the front, I have added a sugar pot or a sugar bowl. Behind this bowl, I also added a few blueberries to kind of make a scene of making blueberry pies. I've been using watercolors in my bullet journal for a very long time and I feel very confident to use watercolors in my bullet journal because I don't need to think about the color combinations or how it will turn after I colored them out so I always feel comfortable with it and also as I use this pen watercolors I really feel convenient to use it in my desk because I don't need too much spaces It feels very convenient and less messy for me to use this half pen compact set of watercolors from Winsor & Newton because I truly am a messy girl and I always make my desk very messy when I film or do any stuff. I do have a great collection of markers but I prefer lighter colors or pastel colors a lot and sometimes I don't find them in my marker collection so I feel that using watercolors make it more lively than using markers. Sometimes I always use markers because it's much more easier than the paints that I use like wash paints or watercolors but using a water-based marker is very useful for your bullet journal so that you don't need too much things to explore but for me as I make larger illustrations like this and I always feel like I need more colors to go with the maximum outcome that I want in these illustrations so definitely using watercolors or any paint medium is much more easier for me than using markers. 
And for the coloring at first, I'm using a mixture of yellow ochre and a little bit of raw umber to color out the sack. And here, as you can see, I have used a very minimum amount of water so that my notebook doesn't warp up much. And these pages are my favorite, but later after coloring the whole thing, it kind of feels different from the watercolor papers as basically it's not a watercolor paper <laughs> here as you can see i've darkened up the left side to create a shadow so that it kind of looks like the the light source is basically from the right and front side here i am using this blue color basically i'm using cerulean blue hue to color this out with a bit of fine gray for the shades of the eggs, I was in a very much dilemma because I didn't want to go with oranges here or brown here. So I kind of added a bit of burnt sienna and Indian red here to make this color. And I believe it does look like eggs. And for the bowl, I've gone with a mixture of black and white to create this grayish color. For the leaves, I am using sap green as always with a bit of yellow. For the lettuce here, basically I'm using yellow ochre, raw amber and Indian red. Here you'll see me tapping out extra waters using a tissue paper very much because I was using too much water and I was very scared because I didn't want to warp up my notebook pages again definitely it comes with a bit of colors from the paper but i don't mind i can recolor it i've also added a few leaves here to make it looks more autumnal with this green and yeah that's it for this whole cover page and basically i really don't have much to talk about this spread because it's just a process to watch and learn i tried my best to explain as much as i can For the title here, I'm going to go with this kind of technique where I will write the October with a very simple handwriting and also I'm going to go over multiple times. Later, I will add a few washi tapes to decorate this cover page as well. For the next spread, I'm going to make my calendar spread besides this cover page so for the calendar layout i'm using dark gray unipin pen in size 05 and for the inner grids i'm using sakura pigma micron in size 005 which is in black color i spaced out this calendar with three and a half grids by four boxes and definitely it's much smaller but i think i don't need too much spaces for the calendars right now and to make this whole calendar space more pop up i'm making a gingham pattern inside the box i definitely like how this pattern was turning out because it's not too dramatic or it doesn't need to go with too much colors with it and i'm just using gil ochre here I'm using this lightly thin flat brush to create this gingham pattern and I like how this whole space look. And definitely I didn't want the inner spaces look too much white that's why I'm just blending the colors up with a bit of water. And here as you can see it's kind of warped out a bit but I didn't mind <laughs> after making the whole spread. So for the headers of this calendar page I'm just writing with the same font or the style that I've used for the title of the cover page and that's it for this calendar and for a bit of illustration I'm going to go with this little pumpkin and draw out a pumpkin pie in front of it. I wanted to give a bit of space for my notes because 
if i want to remind myself with a few notes i will write them down So when I color the illustration, I would like to talk about the printables that I've made for my patrons. And for this month's patron printables and wallpapers, I have gone with this lovely collection. And honestly speaking, this is my favorite. So basically for my patron printables, I have included six journaling kit, one cover page, which is basically the original cover page that I made in my bullet journal. And then we have this sticker sheet and three wallpapers for both phone and tablet. And I'm very happy with the pattern that I've created for this collection. And yeah, that's it. For the patron printables and for my patron happy mail tire i'm going to send you two sticker sheets which are brand new and going to be available in my shop very soon yeah that's it for the talk about patreon after making this calendar i felt the calendar spread looks a bit colorless so i thought that i should use some washi tapes and i recently got this collection from paper monogatari Anna was very kind to gifted me both of her latest one is the pumpkin spice and and the one is botanist diary both of the collections are very beautiful i'm going to post the whole collections in my instagram so if you haven't checked that out go and check that out at her website as well let's jump into the next spread that i'm making here which is my habit tracker for the habit tracker i have gone for seven habits here and i wanted to add an illustration here in the page of the left corner of the page and here i'm just coloring out a pie a roller and an apple basically i wanted to portray that here we are making apple pie and this is definitely a baked version of an apple pie and i have tried my best to create that and as you can see i tried my best to go into the depth and i tried to make all the details of the pie straps here and especially i used yellow ochre with a mixture of burnsina for the base and for the apple here i'm just going with indian red and burnsina And definitely watercolor was the right choice for this kind of illustration for me in the bullet journal because i tried to go very rough with the colors not to do too much details or make it realistic so yeah i really like how the illustrations were turning out For the drop shadows, I just used a mixture of yellow ochre, here, gray and white to give it the shadow and definitely I didn't want to go with a simple gray color here and I tried to warm it up with yellow ochre. Here. As you can see, I'm drawing out another spreads illustration together because i thought that i should go all of the illustrations first in this spread and then i will move to the layout part so here i'm drawing out a bunch of baking essentials like flower pot a milk bottle a bowl of blueberries pumpkin a packet of two breads then also ladders here Definitely in the first the illustration of this spread, definitely the first illustration of this spread, I forgot to draw out the illustration with the apple pie. So I thought that it would be great if I draw out the outlines first so that I can remove all of the pencil marks underneath it. It's raining all the day 
since I started painting the first two pages here and definitely it was too gloomy that I had to set up my ring light besides my desk and in this weather change I also got cold and definitely my throat is pain a lot but I'm trying my best to talk I don't think that I'm sounds as usual and it's very difficult to talk too much but I'm trying my best so I hope you understand my voice <laughs> and also it's raining outside so you might notice some background noises of raining as well for this illustration I have started with drawing out the outlines first and I forgot to outline the illustrations which I did before but I think drawing out the elements are much more easier to color them out so that I can know where should I put all the details into it and also I can erase the pencil marks before I coloring them out so here as you can see I'm coloring the bottles with a bluish cast like bluish glass cast I wanted to give it a blue hue for the milk bottle which is made of glass obviously and for the flower pot i didn't want to go with blue so i used gray instead i don't know why i'm explaining it too much but i didn't want to go with blue for both of the glass bottles here that's it i hope that makes sense and that's it for this illustration as, as well talk about the layout of my habit tracker so for the layout of my habit tracker I'm starting with the title into it and for the title I wanted to go with the same font that I did in my cover page and calendar page so basically it's very simple to make and the fonts or calligraphy so I thought that it looks good into this spread as well for individual habit trackers, I wanted to go with the simplest layout that I always use here because it feels very easy to track them out. And for the background of each tracker, I wanted to color them out with both burnt sienna and yellow ochre here. That's it for this habit tracker as well. I'm speeding up the illustrations a bit so that it doesn't take too much time to go through the illustrations besides my habit tracker i'm making this autumnal bucket list i don't make bucket list much but i thought that autumn is my favorite season and i would like to accomplish a few things for in the autumn such as i want to go to outside and visit a few places then i wanted to read a few horror books in october and also a few cozy books as well and the third thing that i wanted to do is painting a lot of autumnal illustrations in this period because i am very much obsessed with autumnal landscapes and I really want to practice my painting skills both with watercolors, acrylic paints and gouache paints. I'm very new to gouache painting. Last year I purchased my first gouache set and I only practiced a few times but I think this year I would like to go too much with it so yeah that is my bucket list here. So. Yeah, that's it for this both of these spreads of my habit tracker and the autumnal bucket list. And for the next spread, I'm going to add my weekly planner spread, which I enjoyed in September as well. So basically, the weekly planner spread is to track out all of my planning for the month 
in weekly based and for this weekly planner i'm going with five spaces to track out my five weeks and for october i'm going to have five weeks under this theme i didn't want to go too much with the whole spread so i'm going to use my own sticker sheet which i launched in last year i love my playlist collection so i thought that i should use it here this is from my last year's autumnal collection but this year's collection is going to be out in a few days i'm working on it still and it's quite nice to see how all of them turned out and definitely my style from last year to this year has changed a lot and that's it for this weekly planner as well and the next spread that i'm making here is my weekly spread and basically i'm going to have five weekly spread under this theme and for the first weekly spread i'm going to go with this one page weekly spread and for this one page weekly spread i was run out of ideas so i found this layout from martha's journal and she is one of the best creative person I have met in this community and I really like how this layout goes in this space. So here I'm just going to use this sticker sheet that I got from Paper Monogatari and it's from her latest pumpkin spice collection so if you want to get them please go and get it because it's the limited version and you'll not find them after she sold out everything. So yep. And for this weekly spread, I'm going to go with these headers here. As you can see there, I have spaced out 9 boxes, but I need 7 boxes. So I had to fill up 2 of the boxes with some elements. And I used this mood board sheet from her pumpkin pies collection and placed them 2 of these boxes. So that's it for my weekly spread as well. I know that the weekly planner and the weekly spreads and go together very much but I wanted to use both of these things in this place so that it looks a little cohesive and goes with the theme. So that's it for this whole setup. So now it's the final flip through time. Here is my six spreads that I made in this year and I absolutely love how the whole setup turned out. I am going to enjoy it a lot. So yeah, that's it. I hope I'll see you in my next video. Until then, be safe, healthy and happy. Bye guys.